What's up, y'all? This is Mike D, Mr. Double Down on You. Hope y'all are having a great day. Hope you're making everything happen and you're making it do what it do, um, you know, in the time frame that we're living in. But check this out. I got a little something that I wanted to drop on you. Two points. Two points. And these two points or two examples come from making the most out of situations, but then also using everything as a learning opportunity. All right making the most of every situation, but then using everything as a learning opportunity. So point number one, wearing a mask, wearing a mask when you're out in public, right? It's a hassle, like real talk. It's a hassle. Like it's, it's something that you're not used to, but we got to do it right now. But I was walking through Home Depot today because, <laughs> you know, I got to get some honeydew stuff done. Walking through Home Depot and this guy walked up to me as I was in there. I had my mask on. He had his mask on. And he said, hey, brother, you know, I never realized how much my breath stink until I started wearing his mask. See, some would just, you know, find that funny and take humor in all of that. But those that are using every opportunity to learn, to adjust and to become the best version of themselves would say, you know, somebody's been trying to tell me to go to the dentist for a while. Somebody's been trying to tell me to, you know, change up my brushing regiment for a while. Now, again, this is not me. This is what the guy, <laughs> this is what the guy told me at Home Depot. But again, it's a learning opportunity. It was a learning lesson. Wearing the mask gave him the, uh, <laughs> gave him the perspective that, you know, I need to kind of change my oral cleaning habits or I need to go visit the dentist, right? Again, turning an opportunity into a learning opportunity, right? Turning a situation into a learning opportunity. It's a challenge, but if you're open, you can learn from that challenge. So for him, wearing the mask was, yo, <laughs> I need to get my mouth worked on. It was pretty funny, right? So again, learning from it. The second thing that I wanted to point out, I was just hearing that Costco and a lot of other, you know, uh, grocery distributors are having shortages on meat, right? So they've actually adopted limits on the amount of meat that you can purchase. So some would say, you know what? I need to find a way to stock up or pack my freezer or whatever with all kinds of meat. But for those that are looking to improve their quality of life, they can take that situation and say, you know what? Maybe I need to reduce my meat consumption anyway. Hmm. Now, granted, I'm not a vegan. Every so often we do, you know, vegan days or vegan weeks or whatnot. But the reality is we're not vegan. But we have come to understand that to live well and to live a healthy lifestyle, we probably do need to reduce the consumption of meat. And I think just about anybody can. I mean, that's one of the culprits of a lot of health issues that we face, especially in Western society, is the overconsumption of meat. It's not the consumption itself, it's the overconsumption. Like, I don't think anybody worth their weight in gold in the fitness or wellness community would ever recommend anybody sitting down and eating a 12 ounce steak or eating 20 ounces of protein or whatever. But sometimes, if we're not careful, that's what we routinely end up doing. We overconsume meat. So with the limitations, on the amount that you can purchase this could be a challenge for some but if you're open to looking at the situation and learning this could actually be an opportunity to find ways to supplement with more vegetables to drink more water to reduce your meat consumption and to really start a habit that you incorporate into your lifestyle going forward that allows you to live a better life think about it so those are just two points in which or two scenarios that you can take challenging situations if you're open to them, learn from them, and allow yourself to improve and become a better version of yourself. Because at the end of it all, it's all about personal development. Each moment should be better than the last moment. Each day should be better than yesterday. Each week should be better than last week. Each year should be better than last year. And I guess some would say in 2020 with the COVID-19 crisis and some of the challenges that we faced, how can 2020 be better than 2019? right we're just trying to hurry up and get to 2021 but don't miss out on the present opportunities and if you're open to seeking opportunities to be completely honest with you if you're open to seeking opportunities you'll always find opportunities so again the two scenarios this morning home depot the brother had a mask on i had my mask on too 
but the brother had a mask on and he said man i never realized how bad my breath stank until i started wearing a mask it's an area for development don't get offended get feedback shout out to my man chris cole he dropped that on a, uh, an interview i did with him don't get offended get feedback and sometimes don't get offended by what you discover on your own the second thing with the reduction in or the shortages in meat so therefore sometimes there are going to be limits or they're going to be limits in some places you go on the amount of meat that you can purchase don't get frustrated and feel like you got to stock up or go to multiple locations and all of that reverse engineer it and think about maybe this is a sign that i need to reduce my meat intake anyway i'm not saying you got to go vegan because again i'm not vegan but we do need to reduce the amount or the volume that we consume you know animal products and um so use that as a lesson so don't get offended get feedback be open to everything being an opportunity and make the most of every situation because if you're open and you're willing you're gonna find a solution and you'll actually become better for it all right so let's make the most of these days and uh guess until next time we'll holla at you y'all be blessed well and wise this is mike d mr double down on you visit i am mike dorsey.com or you can also make sure to check my podcast out black fathers now visit blackfathersnow.com check that out and um I'll holla at you. Y'all be blessed. Peace.